hello it's me the big cheater the big old cheater here at Halloween boo of course uh, boo it's Halloween so I have to try and scare you much easier to just play Monster Train badly that's quite scary <laughs> banter it's good banter uh, how's it going everybody Fenton here with the old Monster Train uh, we were Stygian and we won by cheating so now we're going to be Umbra, and I'd like to play the new Penumbra Gorge Path because they buffed it, and I already thought it was pretty good. But well, let's go. If you want to give me the old like and subscribe and stuff, that would be great. If you don't, then that's fine. I respect your decisions as a free agent in this universe. It's, uh... It's, it's, it's yellow-green. I've read that there might be a bug with when you do random, that it, it only does random on the class that you manually chose, but I'm not complaining. It's random enough for me. Is that true? Does this count as losing a run? Yeah, that was Dregs. That was uh, Shade Splitters. Interesting. Oh, these are expert channels. It doesn't matter. Oh no, it did count as 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 I didn't count as uh, starting a run. That's a shame. Yeah. So if you're on uh, the default and you press random, you'll only ever get a default. Whereas if you're on exiled and you press random, you'll only ever get an exiled. Is that true? No. Because <laughs> we just got Umbra stitching. That's fine. Uh, I don't know what that other run was going to be. Maybe that other run would have been amazing. I didn't even look. I only, I only got that far. Umbra Stygian. Uh, Soul Sucker Talos. Uh, Darkness Arcus, which is a Rally and Incan. And Seraph the Patient. Oh no. But Stygian, oh yay. Just get an unnamed tome. Job done. Two ounce umbra salt, two little crystallis and a cave in. That's crazy good. That's very good. In my opinion. Morsel generation. Strong spells. Backline. A cave in. Oh no, we got rules of containment again. Vapor funnel is also very good. For the same reason. It makes a lot of things easy. A lot of the early combats become quite free when you don't have to worry about the backline. Um, but what's better? That's a good question. It's a very good question. The thing with Rules of Containment and having two um, Antombra Assaults is that things might be dead before you draw the Antombra Assault. I suppose. I wish I knew exactly... Rules of Containment is quite good against Seraph the Patient, because Seraph the Patient just likes to summon 15 fives, and 15 times 2 and fives. Or are they 15... Th they might even be 15 threes, which makes Rules of Containment even better. But then that just also makes Vapor Funnel good. Except that, obviously with Vapor Funnel they have to climb the whole train before you get any value out of it. This is good faster. Vapor Funnel also you have to worry, I say worry, I'm using this in inverted commas, uh, about Wilt Wings. If, you, if Wilt Wings go up, they will still deal the 5 damage to your Pyre, whereas they will die to Rules of Containment before they get to the top, if they spawn at the bottom. If they spawn at the top or in the middle, thanks to an Mark of Invasion trial in Circle 7, you won't they will still get to the top and not die to the Frostbite, because they have three health. Uh, they're both very good, and they both do roughly the same thing, as we, you can tell by my extremely long, drawn-out decision here. Um, I'm going to take the Rules of Containment, I think. 
because if I do get Gorge Penumbra, that comes in with two lifesteal, and I don't want to waste lifesteal on units that were just going to die anyway. Like, just killing the backline is, is fine. Early, I think. And we do get the lifesteal path, which is very good, because we've got the Shade Splitters and two Antumbra Assault. So it's a full-on Gorge strategy here. I should just quickly check the map. Umbra Banner on the Merchant of Steel side is pretty good. A Morsel Maker and Morsel Master are both fine. Don't really need another Gorge unit. But a Stygian banner would also be good, like a, like a Shark in a Titan Sentry would be pretty fine as well, even though we have Rules of Containment. I don't know. Plus fours, Discipled Foot Soldiers just die. Discipled Protectors then suddenly have attack values. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. I'm no expert. I only have 250 hours in the game, so I don't know why you're expecting me to know what's happening. That seems like a bit of an imposition in terms of assumptions. You don't know me, basically. We can do some nonsense with a cave-in as well, I suppose. Play per number of mid, overstack the top floor with morsels, drop them down. It's all good. The Crystallis is obviously very strong as well. Uh, you're dead to this, but I don't know if I want to spend a life steal on it. 16. Do I want to spend a life steal on this disciple protector? Does it matter? I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to blow you up. Put another morsel down. Oh, you're spending a life steal. You're wasting a life steal on the collector as well. It's, 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 it's weird. I suppose the Antumbra assault I should have maybe... Oh wait, I can do this nonsense, can't I? God damn, Antumbra Assault's a good card, which is the worst morsel. Probably uh, this one. I definitely shouldn't have played both. I should have just played the one I was intending to kill and then played the best two morsels. But it, it, that's a level of min-maxing that really is quite irrelevant here. We, we win. We win. Probably don't even get to the top floor, to be fair. I can now just press end turn until the end of time. And it's all good. Whatever. Very strong. Took the trial, took no damage. Hooray. Another Antumbra assault. A making of a morsel. Pack of morsels, man. I heard you like morsels. I heard you like Gorge Penumbra. Uh, pack morsels? Making of a morsel? Maybe we do go to this Merchant of Magic and give this a minus one? Don't need this. Can give the th give the thing a minus one. Give uh, an Antumbra Assault a plus ten. I like it. If Penumbra is going to be our Gorge strategy, then we don't really need a number banner because we'll just see something unoffensively bad. Yeah, I like it. A flash freeze. What Stygian units would I want to see? I suppose I could take space and then take like a sweep. Take like a Silophyte or something. I do need to I do need a way to kill. Backline. I suppose. I mean I've got rules of containment. I'll take a Titan Sentry, of course, I would take a Titan Sentry, that just goes without saying. Interesting that there's no um, Merchant of Steel in Circle 3. But there is a Hell Vent. This Hell Vent is interesting because it kind of makes me want to go this way, actually. We'll see what we get out of the unit draft, I suppose. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. I mean, I muted it, so you didn't hear, but uh, in the off chance that my mute button didn't work there, then I apologise for sneezing right into your ear holes. I'm not going to take a nice tornado, I don't really have the energy to, to facilitate it, it's just whether I want a flash freeze. I don't think I do. I think it's unnecessary. I'll take an offering token then, I suppose. A uh, morsel master. It's kind of awkward with Penumbra being 3 space taking a Morsel Master. 
because I'm already getting a decent number of morsels, so I don't really need to duplicate. And then when you go up, if you take space and you go up to six, then one plus three is four. Then the morsel that you play that gets copied takes up those two spaces as well. It's not ideal. And if the floor is small, then you just can't play the morsel master at all because then you just don't have any space for morsels. Plus we got the cave in, so we're there's a chance that we play Penumbra mid and we cave the morsels down as well. Could play Offering Monument to speed up the draw, but we don't really have the energy to facilitate it. Or we play a Crucible Collector and we have two Gorge Floors. Do we have the... do we have the morsels to facilitate that. I don't think so. I think this is a skip. Which is fine. I'm glad that I didn't take 15 damage for the trial that ended up being worth 10 gold. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. And as such, I will go this way. If I'd have seen the Titan Sentry there, I would have gone this way. Because then it would have been worth duplicating it here. So I am going to go this way. Okay, two rares in a banner. Let's just let's just mention that to start with. Oh, are they gonna have to take a lodestone totem here? And just incant on the bottom? I mean this kinda makes it upsetting that I didn't take um Vapor Funnel. Because I could have just Well, I suppose not really, actually, thinking about it. If they're sapped and they're eternal dazed, it's kind of irrelevant. I could lodestone totem a floor just play a bunch of sap and then take another unit and have that as a secondary floor and then Penumbra just mops up. It's three energy. It's kind of a dead card to start with because it'll be it. Well, it'll be in my opening hand. I'm going to do it. I don't really often play with play with that as a card. I feel like I will. I'm going to minus one. Uh, I'm making up a morsel. And I suppose I could spend 25 gold on this. They're not very good. And I'm not going to re-roll. Well, I could re-roll. I'd have exactly 50 gold left. I could buy both upgrades. There is a hell vent. I suppose I should, knowing that there's a hell vent coming up. But an early, an early free artifact is interesting. I feel like they may have changed the algorithm here. This is a very odd third circle. That might just be me. It might just be. This might have been possible the whole time. You just don't see it very often. I am gonna reroll. Seeing as there's no shop here, I may as well spend the money. Plus ten. That's what I wanted. I think that's what I wanted anyway. Making this deal thirteen isn't a huge boon at this point in the game. Most of the backline just has. I mean, no backline unit ever has more than ten. Because those are the uh, purifiers. Um, but it's nice to have. There might be something that you mop up with it. Eh. Eh. Yeah, alright. I'll do it. i got the money. I'll just spend the money. Whatever. I'll make a Crystallis cost one as well. I can make this free. Nah, I'll just make this cheap. We want to encounter a lot, I suppose. Because we got the totem. Mark of Invasion, 75 coins. Rules of Containment. My god. He he can't be stopped. Slowstone turn is gonna do nothing. In fact this is quite scary. I think I ballsed it up. No, I'm going to have to go Penumbra, two Frozen Lances here, on the top. That's a lol. That one. That certainly is quite funny. There is an incant plan going on here, somewhere in the background. Should have definitely done that first. 
do not ask me what I'm doing there. There are some turns we get a touch extra energy because it's just morsels exist. Uh, haste, I suppose I should do this. 48-23 against this boss is more than enough. Um, I will do this for morsels. And again, I mean, I say do that first, but you kind of... This is the best morsel you can find from that anyway, so whatever. This run is potentially very strong. It's just uh, don't ruin it. Mate, pal, buddy. I suppose I could have... Uh, I suppose giving this plus 10 also means I can Antumbra assault my own train stewards. It's just whether that's worth it right now. The fact that he has 8 health means that playing both is not particularly strong. Sorry, Morsel Miner. Your dreams go unfulfilled. Your dreams of being eaten. The first tree of this was not buffed, correct? Or was it? Four and two it was, wasn't it? It was three and one. Nine and four. Fifteen and six is the same. It might have been fifteen and five. I don't remember. Either way, I'm happy. It was, I thought it was good anyway. Really, uh, oh, perils. This got a buff as well. It's now three rage. That's right. Although Prismal Dust into Seraph the Patient is probably worth picking now while I've seen it. Just give it a uh, permafrost or something. Another offering token for the incant thing that we're doing, I suppose, is okay. Uh, Umbra banner. It's not. There's nothing to duplicate, is there? Really. Two lodestone tomes. That's funny. Nah, I'll just take a free artifact. Double Gorge is obviously the big, big, big hit here. Draw a card from a morsel. Well, that gets draw sorted. I could probably take this and then take energy, or even take space. I'm not sure I'm that worried about merchant costs right now. TBH. Eh... Uh. What am I about to fight? I'm about to fight uh, Talos, having not taken a secondary unit. That's brave. Arguably stupid. We've got this Stygian banner and this Merchant of Steel to help us out. And then after that, oh, it's a bit, you know, should have maybe realised that you've got to have a plan. Like, you have to have a plan. And the longer you go without saying, oh, I'll take this unit because that's the plan now, the less likely it is to work. We get a unit draft from Talos as well, so let's not forget that. I'm just going to skip this, I think. That's my analysis. And the reason is because I said so. I know you come here for my expert analysis on... Uh, on Monster Train, and uh, that's, that's, what, that's what my analysis is. I said so. Uh, we can also chump block, sorry for the patient, with morsels, of course, uh, is something to be aware of. A mid-floor setup here. Mid-floor's fine, it means I might actually get some value out of the uh, cave-in, I suppose. I should take energy, really, so I can get this load totem to down, turn one, without worrying too much about it. Train steward. Train steward, if you will. Whatever. Just heave them out. Talos might go to the top instead and not upset me. This isn't haste, is it? Is it? I don't think so. I'm willing to be incorrect on that one. We 
We got a lot of draw. Uh, I don't know which one of these is better, to be honest with you. Probably this one. No. I might leave this in the deck. It's pretty, it's a pretty okay card. The reason we're getting away with not taking any units is because we have a Rusa Containment, but it's not going to last that much longer in terms of being good. Here's a good reason why Antumber Assault plus 10 is worth the effort. Is it just better to play Crystallis? Probably. Oh, I can play both, because I gave it a minus 1. I'm the best. Plus one and damage shield. You've still got two life steal. I'm gonna do this. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't the best trade in the world, but wow, you don't die. Oh, because Talus dazes me. Yeah, I should probably deal with that. I should probably make sure that that's not a problem. It is haste. It is haste. It's the the rubber boss has got a can, got a candy corn. I didn't notice. I, have they all changed? No, surely I would have noticed that. Ah, it's got a candy corn. It's the best. That's so good. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that, and then probably use it in the thumbnail. Candy corn. We don't really get candy corn over here in the UK, and in fact we don't, so... Um, two waves remaining. Is it worth caving this in now? Probably not. I'll just play another one. Ah, there's the candy corn! It's the sap is covering it up though! Sad! Uh, yeah, just get rid of this. It's heavy's going up. I'm gonna take four damage. No, I drew the Crystallis. I'm so good. I'm so good at Monster Train, guys. Folks, I should say. Yeah, sure. It's about what I expected. I uh, don't need the energy now. We're done. We're done here. Sorry, Rebel Morsel. Sorry. A 70-60 with some lifesteal should be more than enough. Uh, is there a case to be made to Lodestone Totem here? What am I going to draw? I'm going to get three incants at least. Yeah, I'll do it. I will do it. It's possible it's valuable. I get 10 rounds out of this. Oh, wow, yeah. 490. Yeah, good enough. Just. Um, yeah, I don't need this, do I? Okay, close. I'm glad I uh, did put the lodestone totem down. Okay, come on, come on, unit drafts. Shroud Mitosis, my goodness. Titan Sentry. Silophyte. Morsel Maker. Good lord. What do I do about this? Morsel Maker is, would be used for a tank here. I would not use it to make morsels for a Penumbra. That is definitely not what I would do. Silophyte. Behind. Then I'd need to take space. And in fact, that would be terrible. It wouldn't be terrible, but I'd have to own. I'd have to cave in morsels. So I'd have to play mid and then cave in morsels. 
and take space so that I could always play mid if the middle floor was small and then like do hold over cave in, hold over minus one cave in, that's god awful it's really not a plan I can't kill double heavies with this setup like at all I'd like, I would have liked to have seen an incant unit here really so I can have an incant floor and then a penumbra floor I feel like I should take the Silophite anyway, so that it can sit. Ah, maybe I take the Titan Sentry because the Titan Sentry is definitely good. And the Titan Sentry is like a sweep unit in itself, and then I can play an Incant unit behind it, and then just play all the Morsels on the Penumbra floor, and then Penumbra's like just mops up the boss. Penumbra one, Penumbra one v one's bosses, and mops up heavies. And then an incant unit. If I don't see an incant unit from this Stygian banner, I'm in real trouble, though, is the problem. If I don't see what choice I have, that is going to have to be the plan. The only other thing I can really do is take um, a furnace tap and give Penumbra a multi strike and hope that that's enough. I'm going to have to take the shark. Because if I take the shark, then if I see quick, that's good. If I see large stone, that's okay. If I see endless, it's. Did I say Endless already? Endless is fine. Quick is not what I meant to say. Quick is when I was thinking of this. If I say Quick, it's fine. If I if I go to the Stygian banner and see two more totems, I'm really upset. I won't need to take space in this regard, though. Because Penumbra is just going to be chilling on their own floor. And then Titan Sentry and whatever other unit I get from this banner is going to be fine. So I'm going to take the energy. So I can plate the Lodestone totem somewhere of value. It is endless, right? And there's a plus 25 here as well. So we got endless shark, for sure, which is not enough. This has to be Siren of the Sea, or uh, uh, Nameless Siren, really. Oh, thank Christ. Thank the good sweet Lord Jesus Christ. Alright. Siren of the Sea, endless Titan Sentry, Incount Floor, Sorted. Morsel floor for mopping up bosses. That's the plan. Can't take monstrous here. That is the plan. And I'm glad we got it. Why did I give you the plus 25? Why did I do that? I've just realised I made a mistake. Oh, that's really wrong. Um... Because I want to give you multi-strike at some point. Oh no. You should have had plus 20. I mean it's less relevant with endless. But was that wrong? Is that extremely detrimental? No. Multi-strike and plus 25 health is fine. It's just not very good when you're behind the Titan Sentry. But I suppose it gives you a couple of extra rounds in relentless phases. But I'm not using you to kill bosses. Ugh. That was a mistake. I just, I just lost the plot there. I just wasn't thinking straight. I'm now not re-rolling this store to give you plus 25. I'm just going to have to deal with that mistake. If anything, I should have given you plus 25. Ugh. It's not It's not the end of the world. There's a Merchant of Steel here. This would be nice, though. Truth be told. But then, I mean, I'll probably go this way for that. Although this isn't that good. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. I hope that doesn't end up costing me the entire run. I don't see how giving um, plus 25 to Siren is a bad thing. Light harnesses. 15 armor. You'll have 65 armor, but no attack. But you'll be protecting light harnesses, who in theory will get a whole bunch... Well, they won't get that much frostbite, will they? I'm gonna not take it. I'm gonna not take it. Okay. I'm just gonna play top. 
Shame I can't get any value out of this Antumbra Assault at all. May as well play this now then, I suppose. Get it out of the decks. Not going to see a lot of value here. Got a lot of unit priority as well. So I might not even draw the Siren of the Sea until... Yeah, it's quite bad, isn't it? Quite bad. Hey, what a card. I mean, I now can't play the Crystallis, but that's definitely worth more. I suppose I better get some incounts going. I maybe should have played the Crystallis here this already. These light harnesses are going up and it's upsetting to me. This wave is a total nightmare. Got away with it. Uh, Santumbra sort dropped off quite a lot, innit? Would love to have played that on the bottom for the incants, but... Cool. We found out in the last episode that playing an incant deck on the bottom floor is not very good. This is not going to be go very well until uh, Siren gets um, multi-strike, in which case... We do have the incants. Oh, energy next turn? Probably. The more encounters, the better, I suppose. This is not a very good combat to show off Frostbite or um, Rules of Containment. Sorry? Yeah, Rules of Containment. It's really not doing it. Uh, like, this is a disaster. Can I draw a Crystallis, please? Wow, two energy morsels. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to be taking some damage here. We're very good at Relentless Phase. Like, look at this. This is a beast. But I'm going to be taking some damage here. Vapor Funnel would have been so good. Vapor Funnel would have been so good exactly right here for this exact scenario in this exact combat. Trample as well. Like, to be honest, Trample here would solve a lot of problems. I did say I won't take the Monstrous, but it's possible I should have done. Oof. That's 22 damage that I really did not want to take. Drew the Crystallis, thank Christ. I could have also caved it in, actually, to save some time. It's a shame I can't Lodestone Totem cave in onto this floor. It's fine. We, we win. And thankfully I drew the Crystallis, so... It helps. It all helps. Needs a bit of oomph. I'm certainly glad I did not take the trial. Very glad. I don't ask me what I'm doing there, by the way. Like, I'm just playing cards because they're in my hand and I can. Alright, 22 damage. Not great. Not great. Something is wrong with the deck. Shroud Spike. Good card. Gem Trove, though. 
I've taken energy. I'm going to take a shroud spike. So many rares. So many rares in here. A glacial seal. Can't really take more draw, more unit draw. Like I mean, I, I, if anything, I should probably get rid of one. Should probably get rid of the incant totem. Oh, I need molly strike, don't I, on the siren? I really do. I really, really need it. But this is uh, I can't really afford. No, 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 no. I need to. I also need to regain from some health here. Hey, I'm so good. And you know what? I'm actually going to remove this. It messes up my draw priority. I, I I can bleed a lot of damage by not um by not drawing Siren until turn three. A lot can go wrong there. I'm guaranteed to get it down by turn two. Mark of Invasion, Sycophants, two attack. This is so much easier than um than uh, clergy, in my opinion. Because if you just ignore it and play on the... Well, I guess it's bad if you play on the top and then the second wave go up. Like, this is just free. It's so free. Penumbra takes eight. Whereas against clergy, Penumbra would take 15 and then nine from this wave. Like, it's bonkers. Everything just dies. I mean, I can actually even clear this floor. She, the number takes nothing. Because I drew a good opening hand of spells. Hmm. Should have maybe thought about what I was doing there before I did it. Uh, I'll uh, I should untumber assault down here. This, uh, this shark's endless. It's fine. I'll give him an extra six for that. Top floor is small. I should have maybe thought about that before I did it. That was a mistake, and I'm going to pay for that, aren't I? I am going to pay for that quite severely. I haven't procced my Mask of Penumbra yet either, so I'm about to draw a card. No, it's fine. I might descend this floor. <laughs> I might just descend it to make up for my mistake. That's quite funny, that's uh, like a nice little backup. How interesting. Give me another incant, please. Um, yeah, I'll play this just for the incants, I suppose. Not on the shark, because then the shark's revenge won't proc and the frostbite won't happen. I'm going to draw a Crystallis, right? Because I really, really, really flippin' need it. I don't understand how this deck's going as badly as this. I didn't draw it. Oh no, I'm about to take another whole bunch of damage. Can I get you down to a decent number? Uh, I can take 12 off you, which leaves you on 43. Minus 9 is not quite enough. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe a Shade Splitter will draw me Crystallis. Got a 1 in 5 here to not take... Ugh. Like 28 damage. Oh, I'm so good at the game! I'm so good! Both energy morsels, fine, whatever. Is this respite? Yeah. It's unfortunate that this is not going to uh, line up for me in the way that I wanted. Another Crystallis. Good lord. He can't be stopped. Take the incants. You got two damage shield as well. It's, it's probably fine, right? Self-made harpy and the uh, sycophant behind it is very upsetting. 
Lifesteal is very good here. Lifesteal is very, very good here. I should probably play the other, put another morsel down before I then do this. This uh, probably lowers this damage up by quite a lot. But I kind of feel like I have to do it. I actually increased it? Weird. Um, so you're going to have four life steal, which means you go four rounds at least, because there's 35 and then just the life steal happens. So I should give you health? I think it doesn't make any difference. I'll just give you attack. It's fine. Shroud Mitosis, the life steal. This might block a wave or something, I guess. Alright, we, we're fine. We're fine. Definitely. Oh, and this. Ha! <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Keep forgetting that that endless science entry is going to just back me up on these extra waves. That's very big. In fact, it's quite important. Good. Took the money. No damage. Great stuff. Uh, trample. I did say I would take a trample. I did say a trample would help. It would... It would hample. Trample. Ugh. What a terrible joke. I'm so sorry about that. The deck is all over the place. Removes. Duplicates. And duplicate a shroud spike. Minus ones on cards, though, is nice. Certainly very nice. Uh, there's a lot of two-cost cards in here. We did take energy, so it's fine for the most part, but minus ones on cards help. Uh, don't forget, you can Emberstone Prismal Dust now, so I can Emberstone this and play it for zero with for one damage shield. It's not hugely relevant, but, you know. I feel like card removes. Uh, the train stewards are dead. They don't incant. They don't, they're not morsels. They're not damage spells. They're just, they're just dead. Duplicating Shroud Spike is interesting, but I also feel like maybe duplicating <sighs> this might be helpful. There's a lot that can happen here, though, is the thing. Like, a, an awful lot. I don't need this, though, and I really do want removes. I paid for one remove already, right? So then it would be 90 and 120. 210 gold for two removes. This is worth 210 gold. But I don't really need this, and I certainly don't need this. This could be a bone dog. Yeah, right. You convinced me. You convinced me to come this way. I don't know why I keep saying that these days. Oh, you've convinced me. Hilarious. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do the pie health. Sure. Sure. Turns out it was a Vapor Funnel run. Turns out Vapor Funnel was probably more correct. Minus ones, please. Uh, I would like this to be eminently playable. So you can minus one this now with the double stack, and it's uh, very valuable. Is it worth it though? Good question. I just want to make sure those kill Shade Wings and Pyre Wings. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to reroll. Because I'd like to find Holdover. Yeah. Holdover what though? Holdover making of a Morsel is a making is a Morsel Miner every turn. And it's also a draw every turn. But I'm playing a Morsel every turn anyway for the most part, right? Where's my toe knife gone? There it is. I don't actually... It's not a toe knife, but it is the same principle as Frank's toe knife from uh, Always Sunny. I just use it to uh, clear the gunk out from under my fingernails while I'm thinking. Sort of like a methodical thing. Because I, I work in a coffee shop, I get coffee grind and hot chocolate powder everywhere. And it just... like There's really nothing you can do about it. It just happens. It's just a thing that happens. Um, and the fingernails are like the worst part of it. Sorry, I've gone on a bit of a tangent here. 
My, I, I need to think about what I'm holding over, basically, and I do that by obsessively and compulsively cleaning my fingernails. Uh, making of a muscle is kind of a low impact one to hold over. Uh, Tumbra Assault is pretty good. It's basically always a target. Uh, and especially when quite on the bottom, it's an incant. Offering token is a free incant every turn as well. Shroud Mitosis is not. In theory it's good, but it's not because we want to we really be incanting, I suppose. We can hold over this and just always play it on the bottom floor for an incant. But the Crystallis is probably... The Crystallis, it's interesting if I looked up every single combat and knew for a fact which combats had more heavies in front of backline and which combats had more backline guarding heavies. Because if you play the Helical Crystallis on the heavies, they die and then the backline dies to rules of containment, or at least takes some damage from rules of containment. If you play Crystallis on the front, the weak frontline enemies, they're just dying anyway. That's still good though, right? Because then the Siren just punches the heavies that are now in the way. I kind of like it. It's not the best, but it's an incant. It's 50 damage every turn for free. I do want to hold over. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There are a lot of turns that I'm like pretty certain um this might be also quite valuable. I think I'm going to do it on this. Could probably just get rid of this one now. I'm going to make this free so that I don't have to spend an energy on a card that is not going to incant me anything. And I will purge one train steward. This is one of those decks that is it's going to be close. And there's really a no way incant and rally. That's fine. That's fine. I did I did remember that roughly. Roughly. Uh, given that this rally shard is here and that this floor is small and this is sycophants, I'm going to play on the middle floor. If you don't mind. Wow. Well, okay. Sure. That's seven life steal. No, don't in can. Don't put the in can there. How flipping rude. How could you do this to me? Wow, well, these frozen lances probably need to go right in the bin, don't they? Right in the flipping bin. That second Frozen Lance was not valuable. I don't know why I played it. Yes, please. Go to another floor. I don't care. Alright, F off. Wow, look at that. Perfect. Uh, I will play this. I might get... Oh, no. It's all just Magma Morsels, apparently. Oh, I hadn't proc'd Masker per number yet. Sure. I really have not taken that for any good reason other than Seraph the Patient is a boss that exists in this game. Uh, do I want to draw a card? Um, oh no, I, I drew a card from playing this in the first place. Train Stewart. Thanks. Thanks so much for that. Is this worth it? Probably. I mean, those are some big numbers. And the Trample Stone's coming up next as well, which is a big help. Because this wave scares me now. The Siren of the Sea is really not getting as big as I would have liked. Oh, good. It's Rally. Thank Christ. Um... 
Cyber this is really not doing that much. The Rage one would have been better, would have grown a lot faster. That trample does a lot. That actually does quite a lot. I'm glad I found that. It's not unreasonable to believe that uh, Penumbra just mops up double heavies now by getting to such a point that she just has enough health to clear them. Especially given that the Gorge is going to go up to plus 15. Like, that's crazy strong. I'm going to continue to win count up here because I feel like it's important. Didn't proc mask a penumbra. I'm so good. So good at the game. Two hundred and ten. Wow, this hand's pretty miserable, isn't it? Uh, this is certainly a draw take. I suppose you could make a case for space. But I don't agree. If I draw an Antumbra Assault, I'm definitely playing it on my shark so that it dies to this guy. Wow. I suppose I did just draw both of them, didn't I? Yeah. Why do I have 8 energy? How did this happen? Cave in. Don't make me sick into my own scorn. Oh wait, what am I talking about? I got another turn to draw an Antumbra assault. Wow, I'm so no, no, I don't. No, I'm dense. I'm double dense. I'm dense for the first reason and then the second reason. I did not draw a morsel card here. Bloody train, Stuart! You've done me. You've done me dirty there. Stupid card. How do we win in one round? What? Oh, three lifesteal. Three lifesteal. No, don't worry. I'm just being stupid as usual. As is par for the course. So, is there some bug here with the trample? Ah, uh, Blazing bolts. Nah, we got the holdover crystallis. I mean, obviously, holdover crystallis does not hold a candle to a uh, blazing bolts. But when you're playing it every turn, it might. Card removes. Card removes empire health. A unit shop that does nothing. Or 75 gold. A magic shop, which is kind of already not that good. I think card removes are, the, are gonna have to be the get here. Oh, I do like this event though. All right, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll just spend the money on the card removes. Wow, this event again! Uh, yeah. I've seen this event two runs in a row, and this event is really uncommon anyway. Maybe they've changed that as well. That's super nice. Thanks. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. Uh, what does it do? 120 and then 150. I can afford two card removes, providing I don't buy this. I don't think I need to. Card removes are just now... Oh, 180! Where did 150 go? Rude. Permafrost the Prismal Dust. Permafrost the Shroud Spike. Permafrost nothing. Permafrost the Prismal Dust. Why not? And spend the money. May as well. I'll just make this free. Any in-count that needs to happen away from the floor 
any spell card that, sorry, that needs to happen away from our in-count floor may as well just be free so that we can always play it and not waste energy on cards that would otherwise uh, be used for incanting. Yeah, that's definitely correct. Definitely, 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 definitely. I'm still not convinced about this one, to be honest with you. Spell Shield 2. Shade Wings die... But not very quickly. Gilded Wings are a worry. Gilded Wings are going to be the real test. Spell Shield 2. The Frozen Lances I don't care about. They're just for um, incants. They do need to go, really. Which means I'm almost certainly going to go this way. Which is a shame. I mean, duplicate. If I take 400 gold here, then I can spend it on... Ah, uh, trinkets, though. Like, double gorge here is just a win. I'm going to greed this. Because I feel like if we don't get 400 gold, we're probably not going to win anyway. Top floor being small is sad. But I don't really see how I can play bottom floor here. Given this setup, Siren just dies, just eats it straight away. As I play the Prismal Dust, but I think I'm going to do this. What you got for me? Wow, Frozen Lance. Big. This is also why I took the um, doohickey out, the, what do you call it? The totem. That's really nice. That Mosul Miner is incredibly valuable to me. Ah, oh, the Shroud Spike as well! Oh no, what do I do about this? I don't know why I said what do I do about this, because the path is clearly obvious. It's uh, Shroud Spike. This guy. Good lord. 214. This Siren of the Sea is just doing nothing. Really is quite useless. It's fine. I suppose in cants it, it all it all helps. It all helps. Is it the best? No. Oh yeah, I draw a card. Wowzers trousers! Look at that. Oh no, you take damage. How do I stop this? Not like that, that's for sure. Lifesteal is quite nice, I suppose. Can you imagine caving this whole floor in down here? Can you imagine the chaos that would ensue? kind of want to do it, just for the fun. It's not worth it. Um, it's time for Prismal Dust on the Siren. Is it really that important? It's not, is it? It just isn't. Just like, who cares at this point? Just whatever. I mean, in fact, I'm just going to get rid of it. Just to show you how annoyed I am. It's funny how important I thought this siren was going to be to the plan. And how actually pointless it ended up. It's quite funny to me. Uh, Shroud Mitosis, this lifesteal morsel, is very helpful. What you got for me, deck? A uh, frozen lance, of course. Why? Why did they feel the need to buff this path of Penumbra? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. 428, 216? What? I 
Wow, those are some anti-umber assaults. Shame I can't play them. Can I play them? You don't have any. You don't have any life. Uh, you don't have any spell shield. I played a Cristalis. That's why. That's why I'm so good. I guess an incant is more valuable there. Uh, another life steal for you, and I suppose a damage shield does a non-zero amount of things. I suppose. This. This is the worry uh, with this trial, and I maybe should have noticed that. Ah, it's fine. The, the frostbite sorts you out, right? Yeah. I did not mean to do that. Thankfully, it didn't make any difference. Get actually wrecked. I didn't realise I had that much energy. I was thinking about what I was going to do and then I saw that I had a silly amount of energy. Two seventy. That's kind of poor. But the point of this floor is not to do a lot of damage to bosses, it's to get the frostbite applied and just start dunking on heavies. And then, you know, we've got a 555271 penumbra here that gets a couple of turns behind the Titan sentry. Like, what the hell? Two rounds? Fine. Sure. 400 gold, no turn, no uh, damage against the thing. Void binding. These are none of these are good. I mean, damage shield two <sighs> against Seraph the patient is quite nice, I suppose. Sorry, I was doing a big old stretch there. Damage shield two is kind of okay. The deck's only 27 cards. I suppose I could squeeze it in. Three Ember Drain. All right, okay, I'll take it. No, it's a card that I'm not going to play on the uh, incant floor, but then I, the incants don't really matter. I permafrosted the uh, prismal dust as well, so... There's a case to be made here for Guardian Stone, given I now have the Railforger's Hammer. But armour on the endless Titan Sentry is really not worth it, and Siren gets two, armor any, uh, two health anyway from the incants. It's not worth it. Keep the deck small. Remove some frozen lances, just play Shades Blairs, and uh, we didn't see a tome, did we? That's interesting. Yeah, like definitely this way, 100% of the time. Apply damage shield 2 to the first friendly unit summoned each turn. That's crazy good. That's very good. So we just chump block the... the... Um, damage now, basically. I feel like we can use that to good effect. Penumbra starting with two damage shield is kind of weird, but... May as well. i got silly amounts of money. Uh... Uh... Eh... Uh. Not the best. I might not even remove anything. Another holdover. I kind of do want to remove these frozen lances, but I feel like we're well past that now. They are absolute garbage, aren't they? I'll remove one with the rest of that money. Um, I'm going to do this. I think it's quite important that we get Penumbra very big very quickly. 
we're going to drop a number first, and we're going to give it two dam give her two damage shield, which is very helpful in case the worst should happen. Seraph has gone top. Okay. Seraph has gone top. I can't lose her again. Uh, which is sad, because I want to rally and in camp. And the two damage shield just get wasted. Alright, I guess I'm playing Penumbra middle. Siren at the bottom, and then I can protect Siren with a Frozen Lance. So, Penumbra, Siren... Then that means I can't play the Shade Splitter, because if I play the Shade Splitter and it draws me the Titan Sentry, then I can't play it. But that's a 1 in 21. I feel like that's fine. <laughs> The other thing I could do is I could play the Siren first, and then not have to play a Frozen Lance. But that seems like a waste. Because I'm going to draw the Titan Sentry next turn anyway, so... I'll put two damage shield on for number Yeah, this is fine. This is good. This is good. I suppose I can do it this way around as well, and then I don't have to worry about... It's the Shroud Spike. Do I want to get this done right now? Let's put you up to an 88-44 straight away with a uh, 4 lifesteal. Except I can't I can't really do that because I kind of need these. I can't, I can't have Siren taking 30 damage right off the bat. I don't really want my Pyre to take 15 either. So I think I'm going to just do this. I think that's okay. We'll see. That's fine. You can do that. That's good. Uh, I'm going to just apply four damage shields straight away. Oh, I've got permafrost. I should just wait. Let the incants begin. I suppose I'm not playing you. I suppose I could play this Shroud Spike as well. Although that's quite valuable. Do both. Draw me a card, another Shades Blair, nice. Another damage shield. Okay, I think we're alright now. I think that's basically as badly as it, uh, uh, as well as it could have gone. Nice morsels. You're actually gaining health. This uh, Prismal Dust is in hand, ready. Got the holdover Crystallis. Which does so much in this combat, because everything's just 15 threes, 15 fives. You're dying to the frostbite. Got morsel, uh, making of a morsel shroud mitosis ready to go. I can't incant down here, but like, who cares? Just need the trample stone now, really. There it is. There it is. I did apply that to Penumbra, right? No morsel. Yeah, good. <laughs> I definitely should have played this before I played the shroud mitosis. Like, I got a bit greedy there. I'm also getting greedy there as well. I suppose full health won't hurt. There's still, there's still two Shroud Spikes in the deck as well for this double heavy round. I'd like to draw one in the next couple of hands. Seraph has gone to the top. Let's start seeing what's going on here. I'm not going to be playing that. Um, no, I'd rather see what these bring first. Energy, health. Eh. Energy might be nice. There's a good chance I draw one of the Shroud Spikes next turn, so I'm just going to do that. Although, four attack. I mean, the four attack is negligible in comparison to the 15 you get from gorging. Let's just do the numbers on this. You're going to gorge, uh, you're going to definitely gorge six times. 
which is 90, which puts you on 154. And you're taking 63 anyway. I think it's fine. I think I will just go. I will just duplicate the energy and then get a big shroud spike down next turn. Um, I can do this. this. Prevents any damage on the siren. I mean, if I'd have thought about it for more than two seconds, I would have done the damage shield on that morsel. But you know, it doesn't really matter. The point is that the shark dies and the siren doesn't take any damage. That's really what's happening there. 258. Something about my math was off. You take nothing because of the lifesteal. Plonk you down. You got the damage shield. That was probably wrong. But whatever. One energy. Unless I draw the other shroud spike. <laughs> I'm so good. Damage shield. Oh, please. Please. Plus four. I'll take it. Although, that is a lot of damage shield, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just take the damage shield, actually. Do you think we win? Do you think 618, 16 damage shield, 293 health trample? Do you think that wins? Do you think that wins the game? Do you think I can click end turn from now until I wait till, till the game's over? I think I probably can. Pay some respect. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, we got there in the end. Oh, oof. Nice. Uh, I feel like I squeezed every single drop out of that run, and it really paid off. Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I feel like that went quite well. A few misplays, of course. There are always going to be a few misplays, but uh, nothing that destroyed the run entirely. This tri I'm glad I skipped this trial, that 15 armor. This is the only battle we took a severe amount of damage, and that was because we weren't quite there yet in terms of um, in terms of damage. Oh, I got something on the on the book. What was it? What was it? Was it this? Was it this crown? No, surely not. I wasn't paying any attention. I'll have to review the footage. It must be. It must have been this crown. It's the only thing it possibly could be. We didn't master anything. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you uh, want to see more Monster Train in the future, then be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.